Palm Sunday Mass at the Holy Cross Cathedral in Boston. It's normally a refuge for Catholics. It's now a firestorm amid the largest sex scandal in church history. Tonight, more troubling revelations surface in the growing church sex abuse scandal. A disproportionate number of gay men. In modern times, sex scandals involving priests and children. Every day, there are more headlines about the Catholic hierarchy's dealing of the pedophilia and sexual abuse crisis in Boston and around the country. The frenzy began when Father John Gagan was sentenced to 10 years on sexual abuse charges. He was accused of molesting more than 130 children over 30 years. Guilty offenses charged with decent assault and battery on a child under 14 years of age. Gagan's superiors, including Bernard Cardinal Law, apparently knew about Gagan's sexual abuse, but decided to transfer him to other parishes rather than turning him over to authorities. It turned out to be just the tip of the iceberg. Since Gagan's sentencing, hundreds of other victims have stepped forward with allegations concerning priests around the country. Some pedophile victims who had previously settled out of court with the Catholic Church and agreed to silence are now speaking out about their experiences. <laughs> Come here. Come on. One of them is Mark Serrano. A father of four and owner of a corporate communications firm, Serrano says he was molested by a priest in New Jersey from 1974 to 1981 from the age of 9 to 16. Serrano says he was conditioned by the priest for about a year before the abuse began. You know, to me, he was the church. I mean, he was a link to God uh, as, as, as I was raised. He introduced French kissing and pornography, uh, alcohol. He uh, methodically built up the stages of molestation over time to include petting and fondling. Uh, forced masturbation and, and oral rape and sodomy. Serrano says the priest told him to keep quiet. The victim finally came forward in the early 80s. The Catholic Church settled out of court with Serrano for $240,000 on the condition that he remained silent. His abuser, James Hanley, now defrocked, still lives in New Jersey. Phil Saviano is another victim who now heads a regional victim survivor network. According to Saviano, Father David Holly, who is now serving more than a 200-year sentence for molesting children, began molesting Saviano and his friends in 1964. Saviano was 11 years old. He used us for his own sexual gratification. Um, we were coerced into performing masturbation on him, oral sex on him. And I can remember, after all these years, I remember several instances having sex with him within the church, in the sacristy, in the church basement, in the rectory. When Saviano came forward with his story, he was told by bishops in the Diocese of Worcester, Massachusetts, that they had never heard of problems with Father Holly. Saviano pressed forward and filed a lawsuit. During the process of discovery, he obtained 25 years of documents which showed acknowledgement of Holly's sexual misconduct by a group of bishops in the United States. They opted counseling and reassignment for Holly instead of criminal charges. When Holly was finally convicted a few years ago, he'd been accused of molesting more than 100 victims. It was stunning to see these letters and to see these signatures and know that the problem with Father Holly was not just one crazy priest, but it was the problem of the hierarchy of the church and the way they dealt with them. In an unprecedented move, the Pope recently issued a statement about pedophilia and sexual abuse in the church, calling it evil. He stopped short, however, of criticizing those who covered it up. Hi, sister. Good to see you. God bless you. That's a problem for many. According to a recent poll, more than 60% of Boston Catholics say they would like to see Cardinal Law resign. The Cardinal has been under heavy fire because of the way he handled the Gagan case. Terrible, terrible situ situation for Cardinal Law to say that these priests are, are sinners and not criminal. It's just total spin control. The trust is gone and uh, the leadership abilities uh, called into question, definitely. and. Uh, it's time for him to go.